Greetings, pure bloods, half bloods, mud bloods, even you filthy muggles. My name is Lunius Maximus. I am your new professor of the dark arts. The old one died. Again. Since you guys love these so much, I decided to do another squishy makeover today. As always, I was inspired by Mariah Elizabeth. I just got a couple of smaller squishies this time, but no worries, I'm making two squishies today. You shall not be named. So Voldemort. And also, Theodore from Five Nights at Freddy's. Thank you again to Nerdy Crafter for helping me pass 1,000 subscribers. That has unlocked the community tab. This is the official announcement that the community tab is now open. I plan on posting there every Sunday. If you're new here, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel. <laughs> also, don't forget to hit the bell icon and select the all option. Ringing it is not enough apparently. You have to select all or I'll be lost on the internet forever. I post new videos every Friday. All right, guys. Let's get started. So we're gonna start out with Voldemort, my old buddy. He only tried killing me a few times. We go way back. Luckily, he's a pile of dust now, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. But I figure that when I do miss him, I could just squeeze the fudge out of this squishy. You can see here in my drawing that what I'm thinking about making the giraffe's legs into is like a little beanbag chair for Voldemort to sit in. Cause why not? Here, maybe if I add like a floor underneath him, it'll be easier for you guys to see that chair. <sighs> nope. Let's see, let's add a little snake to him. I think he needs a little snake behind him here. Oh man, what am I doing? Can you guys even tell that's a snake? Here, maybe this will help. Let's make him say for Slytherin. Okay, let's just make the squishy now. Okay, so here is our boring giraffe. You thought you were going to a good home, didn't you? Nah. What are these things supposed to be, huh? Someone please help me. First, I'm going to scrub away all of its innocence. Looking good, you little cutie. Now it's time for his gluteus maximus. Who needs toilet paper when you have sandpaper? What do giraffes need these dumb antennas for anyway? Probably some weird mating ritual. Voldemort's a single guy. He won't be needing these. I love cutting ears off. It's so satisfying. Snippy doo, snippy doo. What? What are you saying? I can't hear you. Last time I checked, Voldemort didn't have a tail either. I got your nose. I would love to add little additions to the squishies like body parts and new ears, better ears and stuff. Unfortunately though, I don't have memory foam, so I just have to work with what I've got. It's pretty fun though, because it forces me to be extra creative when I'm turning them from their cute, original, disgusting forms into something evil and worth our time. Okay, first things first, let's fill in his gaping wounds with some puffy paint and then get started painting the 10 million base coats. These squishies take a really long time to paint. It looks easier than it is, but looks are deceiving. It takes like half a day to paint just one. A little good trick to know is to use a space heater to speed up the drying process. Otherwise, these guys are going to take you all day. Good luck with that one. No, no, these are not what you're thinking they are, guys. Come on. They're just his little tiny baby hands. Looking dapper. Hmm. So now we're gonna break out the Posca pens and start painting on his robe. Now his hands will look a little more like hands. He's gotta have something to grab onto that butterbeer with, right? Does butterbeer have alcohol in it? I never understand. Who knows? 
<laughs> I'm also curious, what Harry Potter house are you guys in, or what's your favorite Harry Potter house? Comment down below. I wanted to give him a really stern, angry, disappointed expression. And we're gonna give him red eyes too, just like he has in the books. Now you guys can see me using my new dotting tool to do some of the finer details on this guy. I'm gonna use this thing to give him plenty of little angry wrinkles. I'm also going to use it to create some definition under his eyes. And of course, boop on those little eye shines, can't forget those. Don't they just bring him to life? So cute. He knows he's cute. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. And just like that, I think our first squishy of the day is complete. He's a little lumpy, but that's okay. Everyone has a few bumps and bruises. Here's a little before and after for you guys. Look how gross he was before. And now we're gonna go ahead and give him a big, <coughs> fat squish. <coughs> this one's for Cedric. Alright, in case you guys didn't already know, Theodore is the purple bunny dude from the game Five Nights at Freddy's. In the game, you are basically playing as a security surveillance guy watching over Freddy's place. And the entire time, the animatronic animals in Freddy's are trying to kill you. Sounds like a fun job. When I saw the bunny squishy that we're going to be using, I immediately thought of Theodore because he basically already has the exact same shape of him, so we're not going to tear this one up as much as Voldemort. Sometimes it's nice to just sit back and let the squishy do the work. Abracadabra. Time to turn Mr. Easter Bunny here into Theodore from Five Nights at Freddy's. In retrospect, the Easter Bunny himself is actually pretty horrifying. Does the Easter Bunny freak anyone else out? The only thing that I don't like about you is your face. Now you're just some bunny that I used to know. I try not to use too much puffy paint because it is a little textured, it's a little hard. The squishy doesn't remain as soft as it normally is, and it's not as fun to squish with a ton of puffy paint on there. I would prefer to use memory foam and fabric glue, but I don't got any of that. Comment down below if you're part of the broke squad. When I was a little kid, I had a pet bunny named Pop Rocks. You know, like the candy. Unfortunately, Pop Rocks is now jumping around in the giant Timothy hay bale in the sky. This squishy is a tribute to him. Rest in peace, buddy. Whoa, that got deep. Some bunny once told me the world was macaroni. <laughs> there, that ought to lighten the mood for you. Oh, this you crazy mother... He's blushing. That's gross. By the way, I didn't know if any of you guys noticed yet, but I usually don't paint the bottoms of these squishies. You can see it when I turn it upside down here. I usually just leave my squishies on a shelf. I love to look at them and I don't usually squish them too much, so an unpainted bottom does not bother me. I don't look at squishy butts in my off time or anything. More importantly though, it leaves some space for the air to escape when you give these guys a good squish. If you want to paint the bottoms, you definitely can. I would just suggest poking some holes in it with a pin once you're done. On go his little cute teefies. And his little cute bow tie. Let's make sure it's not too tight. And you know, he wouldn't be Theodore without his beautiful baby blues, so we're gonna paint those on now. And yeah, I know this thing still looks like a flower, but I'm just gonna leave it so I don't mess it up anymore. I don't care at all. Now I'm just gonna go crazy adding some cracks, and then do the finishing touches. Hippity hoppity, I've made a monstrosity. And I oop. Sorry about that. I'm still not quite over my visco girl phase from my last video. It's just a phase, mom. This one turned out a little freaky. I like it. Okay, let's just get the squish over with. <laughs> you guys seriously thought I was going to rip you off with that squish? Never. <gasps> Alright, it's loony time. In last week's video, I embraced my inner visco girl by painting a monster army on my hydro flask. 
definitely go check that one out if you haven't already. I just wanted to take a look at some of my favorite comments from that video. Hmm, an evil pickle. Now that would be a sight to see. <laughs> Out of all the stuff on my channel, of course you found Visco Girls the most evil. <laughs> you like Grimace. You might just be the only one, but Grimace says thank you. I think you made his day. Because of you, I have found peace in this endless suffering. Whoa, did someone just propose to me? You guys always make me feel so loved, but this is on a whole other level. I didn't expect this. Oh, no, no, no. I'm really small. I'm not famous at all. But are you saying that I have potential? Lumos. I turned on the lights. That should help you guys find the like button. By the way, I love getting art from you guys. These are all really cool, and I can't wait to put them with the others. I'll show you guys the wall soon. Perhaps you should like, comment, and follow me on Instagram. Also, don't forget to check out that community tab. And don't forget to come back next Friday. Same loony time. Same loony place.